Welcome to Off Good Victory. So today I wanted to talk about uh, how to buy shipping containers, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, if you will. And so, you know, I've I've had mo I have multiple shipping containers. Um, some of which I'm just storing like this. It's going to be used for storage. I have others that I've co uh, converted into housing. And so, yeah, I've had some experience with them, and I've had experience with uh, so-called used shipping containers and um, better quality containers, and of course the new containers. Um, those are the only ones I chose to buy. The roughly double the cost of a quote used container, but I buy them because I want to make sure that the seals and everything on it is rated uh, for um, about 10 years is what these things are rated for on the sea. So I figure, hey, as a, as a homeowner or, or a user, I'm going to get much more life out of it uh, before I have to start replacing things like, uh, you know, the, right here, the rubber gaskets and such. And so this particular container, I want to show you um, uh, uh, the, the insides and the out. But really, mainly, I wanted to focus on is how to buy them. And first of all, let me say um, there are, um, like I said, the good, the bad, the ugly in terms of shipping container and dealers. I have bought from several uh, different dealers. Um, and most of the times what I end up getting is a lot of runaround with these things. And so part of it is, yes, they're very large. Um, they're hard to move in, in, in cer certain cases, hard to get into uh, certain places, um, such as where I live. And so, uh, yes, there may be some ordeals related to that. But what I want to focus on is actually purchasing them. And so here it goes. So I purchased a new shipping container. It's right there. And first of all, this is how you can tell it's fairly new. I'm going to go in right in here into this uh, custom seal. So right here, here's the custom seal for this particular shipping container. Excuse the echo. Um, and you can see, let's see here. Here's the manufacturing date. 11 2018 so that this particular container was made about a year ago actually i've had this container for six months so let's say uh, it was used for about six months well uh, as people know these things go overseas so if it's being transported over the atlantic or the pacific it takes months for the cargo to arrive here in the united states so I know that, first of all, this is a, quote, new container. It was used once or twice for transport, uh, but I'm getting something that hasn't really seen a lot of salt corrosion and, uh, and damage related to that. But you can see, hey, even a new container is going to rust. It's going to have rust around the, 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 uh, the joints where it moves. And, of course, rust where, you know, it's hit stuff like this. But uh, the main purpose of this... Um, video like I said is buying them so what I would recommend is first of all never ever ever pay cash for these things always pay for it after visual inspection if you can or if they're going to deliver it to you by all means pay by credit card in fact the credit card is the only thing that will save your your butt from um, but being fried by these guys uh, if they choose to so the, the main problem I had was this particular shipping container that I got here was delivered. And of course, you could refuse delivery at that point. Um, but uh, yeah, the people who delivered it kind of pulled on my heartstrings. And I figured, OK, I'll get some satisfaction from the people who sold it to me. So even with some of the dents, uh, which I will show you, you should not have in a new container and things like this right here you see right here up there yeah it got hit over time and that corrosion was there when they delivered it so it makes it really hard to open this container so i've already opened it to show you guys uh what um uh, what the damage was but the freight itself to my location was roughly a thousand dollars and so um these guys being uh hot shotters truckers whatever uh, they would kind of suffer the cost if I said I, I don't want to accept it. And of course, the, uh, the, the shipping container dealer themselves would probably push that cost back to me. 
But, um, like I said, they were pulling on my heartstrings. They came with a dog and, and his wife, and, you know, and I figured, uh, okay, I'll just deal with uh, the people who sold me this container. So what I was trying to do with this, quote, new container is get a discount. Um, not a lot, just, uh, you know, cost of transport, a thousand bucks. Uh, the container itself was over $5,000, so I figured, hey, you know, they can't market this container as new anymore because there's clearly dents that it shouldn't have, which I will show you. And so the main thing about this video is always, always pay for a shipping container uh, with the credit card, even if you had the chance to in inspect it, because you know what, you might have, um, you might have overlooked something and might have come back later. And in this particular case, I didn't even have the satisfaction of checking this container out before it was delivered. And, you know, it took, it took almost a month to get it delivered, so there's time involved too. So let me show you the inside of this new container. All right, here we go. All right, so the inside of a new container, you see the flooring, there's some oil spots, whatever. That's okay, but it really shouldn't be super dirty. And of course, this was used. You can see tracks. Somebody was moving things in and out of it. You're going to see that, even in a new container. You shouldn't have any kind of leakage uh, marks inside the container. Uh, the vent holes on this particular container are up there. You shouldn't see any kind of water leakage down the sides. Um, and the main reason why this container, in my opinion, was not new and I should have returned it, um, I'll, I'll show you from the inside. Well, first of all, you can see right there, that is not a small ding or, or dent. That's pretty large. Maybe, you know, to some viewers, this might not be large, but granted, this is supposed to be a new container. But the main thing that I uh, wanted to show you is back here. Once again, excuse the echo. Uh, the main thing is right up here, and I'm going to show you that from the side here, and maybe show it to you from outside. So this right here, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, you can see that's clearly dented and rather deeply on one of these, um, one of these channels here. And so, to me, this does not qualify for being new, because it has more dents and damage to the container than what I would expect. All the other new containers that I've received over the years have been fine without these major dents. And you know, what I was expecting the shipping container retailer to do was be reasonable and offer a small discount to the cost of this container. They weren't even willing to entertain anything. They basically told me that I would have to ship this container back to them at my cost uh, they would not uh, exchange a container without me paying an additional a few thousand dollars. And so they left me with a, with a conundrum of, hey, am I going to just keep it and not even, uh, you, you know, get any satisfaction in terms of the repairs that I have to make to this container? Or do I uh, try to just have them um, uh, take it back forcibly? And so that's, that's the nature of this video. So when you buy a shipping container, always buy it with the credit card because in the end my credit card company came in and kind of saved the day and so they were able to deal directly with the shipping container uh, company and not with me and so yeah so that's that's what i would always suggest so when looking for a quote new container be very careful and uh, i'll show you the damage from the back too um, just be very careful of what you're getting um, here's some of the dents I mean, yeah, I could have lived with that for a new container. Sure, I could have lived with that too. But once again, here, let me show you something here. That was a known issue. They put an X mark on it, and this was not a known issue. They did this subsequently when they were moving it uh, to bring it to me. And then let's go ahead to the back. Let me show you the main reason for, for my not wanting this thing. Uh, was right back here. Yeah, so like scrapes like that, that's gonna happen obviously just from moving around and transport. But this is the main thing right here. Uh, maybe the light, uh, I think it's capturing it somewhat. It's hard to see because the glare, but here, let me get to a different angle. But there you go. 
So that's a pretty large dent. It wasn't marked uh, previously. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I was really disappointed. Um, in fact, I was so disappointed that I bothered calling them to try to get some, some uh, money for it. I was willing to even have them take it back and exchange me for a new one. But dealing with this particular company, I figured, hey, you know, why risk it again? They're probably going to deliver me the same kind of cruddy container. So at any rate, um, I decided to, uh, to uh, take them not to court per se, but, but to, the, uh, to, the, uh, to the credit card company. So yes, you must buy shipping containers with credit cards. Do not even attempt to pay this stuff in cash. Um, obviously, stuff like that. Okay, that's a ding. I would have lived with that. Not a big deal. That was not marked. But stuff like this, yeah, it was ding. They marked it. They marked it. It's been there. Okay, they knew about it. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I could live with that for a new container. But in terms of these other dents and uh, major issues like um, in the arm. Let me show you the arm again. The arm of the, uh, the door where it's clearly been crushed. Uh, by lifting it or something like here uh, right there right there um, yeah that's a no-go so my uh, advice for shipping containers and uh, and purchasing them quote new make sure you buy them um, if you can go to the lot and check it out uh, obviously uh, check it out before you buy it but in my situation I couldn't and so then rely on uh, just the delivery guys to tell you, you know, how it came. And they told me, hey, they certainly didn't do that kind of damage. It was done at the lot and they didn't even see it when it was at the lot. So the damage. And so in that sense, uh, yeah, there's really nothing uh, I could do about it other than not accept it. But I did. And so my mistake, my costly mistake will hopefully benefit you guys. But uh, the main reason why I didn't, you know, suffer a total loss on this is because I used my credit card company and they went to bat for me. And uh, I was able to document all of this process. Um, the other thing also, save all the emails that you do uh, in terms of the transactions you do with these companies and, uh, and uh, make sure you have full documentation uh, as they come. Make sure that the driver also notes all the damage so that the company will know that, hey, it wasn't the driver that did it or you that did it. So absolutely document everything and use electronic um, means uh, of communication, make sure, uh, or, or written, but make sure you have all of that documentation saved. And ultimately, uh, yeah, don't pay, pay cash for it. Don't write a check for it. Use a credit card. And hopefully you got a good credit card company. Alrighty, shalom.